the speed of light. It's a phrase that sparks the imagination, conjuring up images of starships hurtling through the cosmos. The idea of traveling at the speed of light has fascinated scientists, writers, and dreamers for generations. But this fundamental constant denoted as C, is far more than just a measure of how fast light travels. It represents a boundary that defines the structure of our universe. It's the ultimate speed limit of the universe, a barrier that nothing with mass can cross. This limit is not just a theoretical concept, it's a physical reality that governs the behavior of everything in the cosmos. This limit is not an arbitrary rule, it's woven into the very fabric of space-time, dictating the cosmic speed limit for everything. The speed of light is a fundamental property of the universe, influencing the way we understand space, time, and energy. At approximately 299,792,458 meters per second, the speed of light is unimaginably fast. This speed is so immense that it challenges our everyday experiences and perceptions. To put it in perspective, light could circle the Earth over seven times in a single second. Imagine the sheer speed and energy required to achieve such a feat. It's a testament to the incredible nature of light and its role in the universe. This speed is constant, regardless of the observer's motion or the motion of the light source. Whether you're on a moving train, flying in an airplane, or standing still, the speed of light remains unchanged. Whether you're standing still, running forward, or traveling in a spaceship, the speed of light remains the same. This constancy is a unique and fascinating aspect of our universe, defying our usual expectations of how motion and speed work. This unwavering constancy is the cornerstone of Einstein's groundbreaking theories of relativity. His work revolutionized our understanding of space and time, showing that they are interconnected and relative depending on the observer's frame of reference. Einstein's theories revealed that as objects move closer to the speed of light, time itself slows down for them, and their mass increases. This phenomenon, known as time dilation, has been confirmed by numerous experiments and is a key aspect of modern physics. The speed of light is not just a number, it's a gateway to understanding the deeper workings of the universe. It challenges our perceptions and pushes the boundaries of what we know about reality. As we continue to explore the cosmos and delve into the mysteries of light and speed, we uncover more about the fundamental nature of our existence. The speed of light remains a beacon, guiding our quest for knowledge and discovery. In 1905, a young Albert Einstein forever changed our understanding of space and time with his groundbreaking theory of special relativity. This revolutionary idea emerged during a time when the world was on the brink of modernity, and Einstein's insights would propel humanity into a new era of scientific thought. This theory, based on the simple yet profound idea that the laws of physics are the same for all observers in uniform motion, had far-reaching consequences. It challenged the very foundations of classical mechanics and introduced concepts that were both mind-bending and transformative. One of its most startling implications was that space and time are not absolute, but are intertwined in a four-dimensional continuum known as space-time. This means that the separation between events is not just a matter of distance but also of time, fundamentally altering our perception of reality. Special relativity shattered the Newtonian view of a static, unchanging universe. Instead, it presented a dynamic cosmos where the fabric of space and time could stretch and warp Influenced by the presence of mass and energy, it revealed that time is not a universal metronome ticking at the same rate for everyone. This was a radical departure from the Newtonian concept of absolute time, which had been accepted for centuries. Instead, time is relative, meaning it flows at different rates for observers moving at different speeds. This phenomenon, known as time dilation, has been confirmed by numerous experiments and has profound implications for our understanding of the universe. The faster you travel, the slower time passes for you relative to someone standing still. This effect becomes especially noticeable at speeds approaching the speed of light, where time can slow down dramatically, leading to fascinating possibilities for space travel and our understanding of the cosmos. Einstein didn't stop with special relativity. His curiosity and relentless pursuit of understanding the universe led him to explore even deeper concepts. He went on to develop his groundbreaking theory of general relativity, which he published in 1915. This theory was a monumental leap in our understanding of the cosmos, 
general relativity extended the principles of special relativity to include the force of gravity, providing a more comprehensive framework for understanding the universe. Unlike Newton's theory which described gravity as a force acting at a distance, general relativity revealed a more intricate picture. Gravity, according to Einstein, is not a force but a consequence of the curvature of space-time. This curvature is caused by the presence of mass and energy, which bend the fabric of space-time around them. The more massive an object, the greater the curvature it creates. To visualize this imagine placing a heavy bowling ball on a trampoline. The weight of the ball causes the trampoline surface to sag, creating a dip. This dip represents the curvature of space-time. Now, if you roll a marble across the trampoline, it will spiral inward towards the bowling ball, following the curved path created by the dip. Similarly, massive objects like planets and stars warp the fabric of space-time around them. This warping affects the motion of other objects causing them to follow curved trajectories. Objects moving near a massive object will follow these curved paths, much like marbles rolling around the dip created by the bowling ball. This is why planets orbit stars and moons orbit planets. The curvature of space-time is what we experience as gravity. It's a fundamental aspect of our universe, shaping the motion of celestial bodies and the structure of the cosmos itself. Space-time is a mind-bending concept, but it's essential for understanding why the speed of light is the ultimate speed limit. Imagine a vast, four-dimensional fabric where space and time are interwoven. This fabric is not static, it can be stretched, compressed, and warped by the presence of mass and energy. Light, being massless, always travels along the shortest path between two points in space-time. This path is called a geodesic. However, the presence of massive objects curves space-time, altering these paths. This is why light from distant stars bends as it passes by the sun, an effect confirmed during a solar eclipse in 1919. Section 5, The Unbreakable Barrier Why We Can't Outrace Light So why can't we accelerate an object to the speed of light or beyond? The answer lies in the relationship between energy, mass, and the speed of light, as described by Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc squared. This equation tells us that energy and mass are equivalent, related by the constant speed of light squared. As an object with mass approaches the speed of light, its energy increases. However, this energy increase doesn't manifest as an increase in speed, instead it translates into an increase in the object's mass. The faster the object goes, the more massive it becomes, and the more energy is required to accelerate it further. Section 6 infinite mass, the ultimate roadblock. The problem is that as an object approaches the speed of light, its mass approaches infinity. To reach the speed of light, an object would require an infinite amount of energy, which is impossible. This means that no object with mass can ever reach the speed of light, let alone surpass it. Imagine trying to push a car to the speed of light. As you push it faster and faster, it gets heavier and heavier, requiring more and more energy to accelerate. Eventually it would become so massive that no amount of energy in the universe could push it any faster. Section 7. Causality, keeping cause and effect in order. The speed of light is not just a physical speed limit, it's also a cosmic speed limit that ensures the orderly flow of cause and effect, a principle known as causality. Causality is the fundamental idea that causes must precede their effects. If something could travel faster than light, it could, in theory, travel back in time. This is because the faster you travel through space, the slower you travel through time, according to special relativity. At the speed of light, time would theoretically stop altogether. If you could go even faster, you might be able to rewind time. Section 8. Echoes of the Past, Cosmic Consequences The speed of light has profound implications for our understanding of the universe. Because light travels at a finite speed, it takes time for it to travel from distant objects to Earth. This means that when we observe distant stars and galaxies we are not seeing them as they are now, but as they were in the past. For example, when we observe a star that is 100 light years away, we are seeing light that left that star 100 years ago. This look back time allows astronomers to study the history of the universe and understand how galaxies formed and evolved over billions of years. Section 9. A Universe Governed by Sea. 
The speed of light is more than just a number, it's a fundamental constant that governs the very fabric of our universe. It dictates the limits of our perception, influences the behavior of stars and galaxies, and ensures the orderly flow of time. While the idea of exceeding the speed of light might be a staple of science fiction, the reality is that this cosmic speed limit is an unbreakable barrier, at least according to our current understanding of physics. 